Hello and welcome back to another market update for the Phoenix market. Today is Tuesday, July 19, 2022. Before we jump into inventory, if you like these videos, if you find them helpful, go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe if you aren't already. If you have any questions in the Phoenix metropolitan area or just the market in general, please leave a comment down below. I'm more than happy to answer those. Let's jump right into inventory. Inventory is up another 5.2% from 15,600 units last week to 16,408, an increase of 808 units. Here is the chart of the last five months of inventory increases that we have seen. You can kind of see how much the market has gone up. We are sitting at uh, below 5,000 units on the market. Now we're over 16,000. Next week we'll probably be over 17,000 units and we're seeing triple to quadruple increases of inventory because of this external factor that we're seeing. No one is really surprised by these increases all, at all just because the interest rates that are going up in result of the work of the Fed. The June CPI just came out on the 13th and showed a much higher inflation rate that anyone, than anyone was really guessing. We do have to remember though that the CPI lags a few weeks and we really didn't see uh, those gas prices that have decreased so much we didn't see that on the CPI report um, and we'll likely see that next month I hope that the CPI that comes out next month um, in August that shows um, the information for July I hope to see a decrease on that and we can see we can finally say okay inflate inflation has peaked or passed it let's get going and you know we can actually find um, some some normalcy within uh, the the economy and just kind of the markets in general. Unfortunately, the Fed does meet at the end of this month and we are um, seeing that they're not afraid of a 75 to possible 100 point basis hike, uh, which could continue to make housing less and less affordable for those trying to buy it, basically decreasing demand. With all that being said, we have people on both sides saying housing prices won't go down, like uh, Mr. Ramsey over here, and also people saying that housing is absolutely going to crash and it's this huge bubble, which is a lot of these YouTube kind of commentary uh, personalities right now. And um, I'm kind of in between uh, with this external force, which is so strongly um, influencing the market, such as um, interest rates, right? And it really influences affordability. I think that we could see an equilibrium within the market as soon as late next month. And if the Fed continues to raise rates, we will see a buyer's market start to happen. According to the Cromford report, price per square foot here in the Phoenix metropolitan area, it has dropped a massive 4.2% month over month when it comes to price per square foot. The interesting thing that they are seeing though is strong prices under um, with houses that are under contract. Um, and they think that there's going to be an increase from this month to next month. So uh, we saw a decrease from, from last month to, to this month. They think it's going to go back up again um, from this month to next month of a 1.4% increase. Um, you know, and this could be because people got panicked when they were selling. Their house wasn't selling in an auction style anymore and, and they wanted to get uh, uh, their house sold and they were panicking. Oh man, it's going to crash. Let's just get, you know, let's just decrease our price and get this thing sold. But really, Really, we're seeing houses now that are under contract having stronger price per square footage uh, prices. So you know, could it just been a uh, could it have just been a panic? You know, it's a possibility. If we do start to see a downturn in pricing, I believe it'll be short lived, and a bounce back will be extremely quick. This is because inventory is just not available in the amount needed once housing becomes more affordable again. Once that happens, and the Fed starts to lower rates again to get out of a recession that we would possibly go in, it's going to be another huge boom just because uh, housing is going to be more affordable again. Maybe prices come down a little bit, uh, rates come back down um, again, and people are going to be able to buy instead of having this market be, you know, getting less and less affordable. It's going to become a lot more affordable. And again, we've talked about inventory a, a ton and supply. We just don't have the supply to match the demand, especially when an outside uh, a force such as interest rates that affects affordability so much goes away. On to the CMI next, we're seeing another decrease in buyers to sellers. So the CMI is going down still in a seller's market, 
but as you can see inventory is low but the demand is in the red and the demand keeps on getting less and less supply is getting um, a little bit higher a little bit higher you know month after or week after week but um, that, that CMI is, is getting lower and lower just because of um, the affordability going down and people just not wanting to buy with my own clients well you know the ones looking have a lot more options now the ones that with contingent offers they have a house that they want to sell and use those funds to buy another house they're going to have a much higher chance at actually getting under contract now than they were uh, going to maybe three six months ago people um, don't have the offers to compete so it's like oh you know here's a contingent one it's full price you know we'll, we'll take that um, but with my uh, clients that are looking to sell I'm having to communicate with them that the market it has changed and what it looks like now compared to a few months ago and give them the perspective that um, selling their house is not going to be an auction you're not going to get 50 grand over ask if you price it right we're gonna have to use those techniques that our team has to get more buyers in the door get people interested in it um, and making that house more affordable in a creative way well that's all I have for today thank you so much for watching this video if you liked the video if you found it informational go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe if you aren't already my name is Riley with team CR Realty where Arizona real estate is seen